Hello, hello. Welcome back, everybody. How are you doing today? Hi, teacher. Good evening. I am great. Thank you. Very good. Very good. Are you ready for your English class? Yes, I am ready. All right. That's awesome. Hello, Herbert. Nice to see you. Hello, Blanca Guadalupe. Nice to see you. Welcome back, guys. Hello, Maria Elizabeth. Welcome. Hello, Yancy. Melanie. Welcome. Welcome. Hello, Maria. Hello, Christina. Hello, Edwin. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, Edma. Hi, coach. Good evening, chair. Hey, Hello. how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Hello, Josia. Hello, teacher. How are you today? I'm fine. All I'm right. happy. Excellent, excellent. Well, I'm very happy to see everybody today. I hope that you guys had an excellent weekend. How was your weekend? How was your weekend? Oh, my weekend was hard work. Oh, really? I can repair very much computer. Oh, okay, okay. A lot of work, a lot of money. Of course. That's good, that's good. I'm happy to hear that. So it was a profitable weekend. <laughs> yeah. Excellent, excellent. All right, let's go ahead and get started, ladies and gentlemen. I would like for you to tell me a little bit about what you remember from the previous class. What do you remember from the previous class? What can you tell me? What do you remember? I remember the, the lesson in the modifier. Huh? The, oh. mm -hmm. Okay, so we did uh, about 50% of the final exam. Do you remember? Yes, teacher. Okay, so today we're gonna go ahead and get started. And we're going to be looking at section number five. Did you guys already advance on section number five? Okay, we're going to go ahead and look at the first one together. I'm going to allow you guys to share the audio for this one. We're going to be looking at the first section, which is going to be section number 5.0, 5.0. We're going to look at, in this session, we will learn about present perfect. Present perfect is put in practice during the conversation. En esta clase aprenderemos sobre el presente perfecto. El presente perfecto se pone en práctica durante la conversación. So, uh, let's check out the video and then we're going to see if you can identify what is the present perfect. Let's listen and tell me what is the present perfect. Welcome to section 10. In this lesson, we will listen and practice a conversation between two people in New Orleans. See present perfect in context. Listen and practice. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh. Well, how about a riverboat tour? Uh, I've already done that, too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me.
Mute teacher. Sorry about that. Thank you. How many times on this video did you see the people using the present perfect? How many times? Can you tell me? Can you repeat the question, please? Yes, the question is, how many times did you hear present perfect in the conversation? Oh. Uh, okay. I'm not sure, teacher, about three times. About three times, excellent. Okay, hey, I'm going to share with you the, the conversation and then we're gonna go ahead and take a look at it together. Give me just one second, please. I'm gonna share it with you all right now. Did you get it? Did you get it? Did everybody get yes. it? Yes. Yes. Okay, excellent. Now, I would like for everybody to take a look at the conversation. You can use your cell phone. And I would like for you to count how many times do you see the present perfect being used? Anybody? Somebody? Um, Edwin? Um, yes, I think it's about seven or six. Seven or six? Does anybody have a different number? Does anybody have a different number? Okay, let's look at, let's look at it together. Oh, well, how? All right, the first time it's, it says, uh, it's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Okay, that's the first time. Have you been in New Orleans long? All right, that's one. Have you been in New Orleans long? Uh, just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Okay, there it is again. Have you been? Yeah, I have already been to one. Excellent, another one right there. Give me a second. Close this here. And then we see it again. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Uh, I've already done that too. Have you written a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. All right, so we counted how many? One, five, two, three, four, and five. So we counted five times the use of the present perfect. 
right? Uh, here, have you been in New Orleans long? Have you been to a jazz club yet? I've already been to one. I've already done that. Have you written a street car? So all of these are examples of the present perfect. Let's listen to the audio one more time. Welcome to section 10. In this lesson, we will listen and practice a conversation between two people in New Orleans. See present perfect in context. Listen and practice. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Uh, I've already done that, too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. <laughs> okay. Uh, at this moment, well, does how... anybody have any questions in regards to the vocabulary in this section? Do you have any questions about the meaning or the pronunciation? Let me see. Go Questions, questions? Anybody? No, coach. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and check. Let's look at the first one. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Everybody repeat. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Uh, listen and repeat. Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. I can't, I can't wait, wait to show wait you the city. the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Have you been to a jazz club? Yeah, I've already been to one. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've already, already been, to been, to been to one. Oh, well, how about the riverboat tour? Oh, oh wow. What about, about the riverboat tour? Riverboat tour. <clears throat> um, I've already done that, too. Um, oh, I already done that too. too. Have you written in a street <laughs> car? Have you written in a street car? Street car? They're a lot of fun. They're a lot, They're a lot of fun. fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Actually, Well, is there anything you want to do? Well, well is, there is there anything, anything is there you want, anything want, to do? want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. You know, you know I really I just really want, want, to want to do it easy. easy. My feet are killing me. My feet are coming to me. Okay. Any questions in regards to the vocabulary, uh, pronunciation, or meaning in regards to this conversation? Somebody. Anybody. One body. Two body. 
you How buy do you say we I have food. abreviado? I have a what? Abreviado. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Oh, I've. 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 Like a I've. B, like a, like a B. I've. 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 Thank you. I've. Yes, of course. Another question. Good question. Another question. Anybody? Question, question? No. Okay. All right. We're going to go ahead and uh, take a couple of minutes. And I would like for us to practice the conversation for the dialogue. Uh, if you're going to have five minutes, practice as many times as possible. I'm going to allow everybody to share the screens. And then you're going to practice it in the whole class. Are you ready? Yes. yes. All right, let's do that. Ready, and let's go. Hello, Fatima? Hello, Fatima? Hello, teacher. Hey, eh, usted estaba trabajando con Nelson eh, eh, Adán, pero como que no ha entrado. Así que la voy a mover y la voy a poner en el 2 con Fatima y con Yancy. Deme una, un, un chancecito. Ahorita ok, la, perfecto. Ahorita, ahorita la pongo ahí. Ok. Gracias. Well, about... uh, hello guys, se acaba de incorporar su compañera Fátima para que la apoyen allí. El compañero de ella no ingresó, así que va a estar trabajando con ustedes. Ok, teacher. Ok, está bien, teacher. Mm. Oh, well, how about you, about a riverboat tour? Oh, I am already. Don't as do. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They are a lot of fun. Actually, does. Uh, hello, Herbert. Eh, acabo de poner aquí con usted a uh, Norma y a Blanca Guadalupe. Una de las dos eh, acaban de entrar, pero. Creo que están teniendo problemas con el internet. Así que mejor lo voy a poner con Cristina y Oscar en el 10. Allí lo voy a meter. Aquí vino ya Ana. Aquí la voy a poner. Se mueve. A ver. A ver si ingresa Ana y a mi Okay, yo creo que están teniendo ellos problemas con el internet, por eso que no, no logran ingresar. Así que lo voy a poner mejor con panel 10. Eh, hola Norma, la vamos a poner a usted en el 10. Norma Elizabeth. Callejas. Norma Elizabeth Callejas. Este lo vamos a poner en el 10. Hello. 
En el 10 la puse. There anything you want to do? Sí, yo no lo tengo todo. <ríe> Me falta el último. Déjame lo, lo miro en la en la plataforma. Sí, ahí se los mandé en el WhatsApp, en el grupo del WhatsApp. Oh, okay. Ahí lo puse en el WhatsApp. Ok. No me falta la última. Ya lo encontré. You call a religious. How to tell his eyes my feel are killing me. ¿Quiere va con Fátima Noemí esta vez? Y será la última. <laughs> no, no hay problema. <laughs> ok, entonces empiezo yo ahora. Okay. It's a great to see you. How have you been in New Orleans long? Yes, I felt they are really exactly too by her. I can't. What did you show you this year? Have you been to a Jack's Club yet? Yeah, I really been to one. Oh, well, how about a revival tour? How are you really? Um, it's a car, oh my God, it's a car, 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 they're a lot of fun. Actuality to Alan, I hope to, I hope to here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You call and really yes. What to tell me? I hear as my feet are kill me. Kill me. Okay. Si quiere Fátima Noemi ahora conmigo, pero empieza usted. Ok. It's great to see you all. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I am really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you a series. Have you been to a DX club yet? Yeah, I've already been to, to one. Oh, well, how about a river boat tour? Oh, uh, I've already done that too. How do you ride in, in the street car? They are a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to, to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay. Eh, Pati Melissa, si quiere ahora conmigo otra vez y empieza usted. Okay, perfecto. It's great to see you today. I have you. In New Orleans, land. It's a few day, days 
I am really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you two city how you been to just club gym. Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh well, oh well, wow, a barret, a ribitor, Oh, I've already done that too. Oh, but you're, you're really an start art. Heard a long phone. I told you that how I got here today. Well, well, is there any, any time you have it to want to, to go? You know, I really just want to, to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Let me have two volunteers. Two volunteers, please. Who wants to be a volunteer? Two volunteers. Hey, Alexiumar. Edwin, all right, Edwin. Hello. Okay, Edwin, you are going to be Todd. Who wants to okay. be Jan? Me. Okay, Josia. Josia, you are going to be Jan. Edwin, you are going to be Todd. Todd. Action. Okay. Action. Josia, you are a king. <laughs> Josia, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. All right. Action. It's great to see you, Top. Have you been in New Orleans long? It's a few days. I am really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yes. I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a rather what tour? Uh, I've already done that too. Have you riding in the streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I good care today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Excellent. Excellent. Good job, guys. Very good, Josia. Very good, Edwin. All right. Go ahead. Uh, Josia, select somebody. Edwin, select somebody. Edma. Hi, Edma. Hey, okay, Edma Hi. is Edma is going to be Jan. Okay. Normalizando me estaba diciendo me, me. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Normalizando, you're going to be Todd. Action. Nos comparte Yes. Welcome to section 10. In this lesson, we will listen. Okay, it's great. <laughs> okay, it's great to see you, Tom. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a Yes club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a river boat too? Oh, I be already done that too. How do you read in a streetcar? They are a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is here anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. 
my feet are killing me. Okay. Thank All right. You. Good, good. Awesome, awesome. We're going to have the last pair. Go ahead and Norma, select somebody. Edma, select somebody. The last pair, and then we move forward. Ana Yamilet Hernandez. Ana Yamilet Hernandez. Ana um, Yamilet Hernandez. Uh, Isaura, teacher. And Isaura. And Isaura. Isaura, are you there? Yes, teacher, I am here. All right, Isaura. So we're going to have, uh, who's the first one? Who is the first one? Jan. Isaura is Todd. Action. I am Jar. That is correct. Okay. It's great to see you. To have you been in New Orleans long? Eh, ¿Quién era la otra compañera? Ana Yamilet Hernández. Oh, ok. Ana Yamilet, ¿estás allí? Ana, Ana Yamilet, ¿estás allí? Hola, Ana Yamilet, ¿me escuchas? Le escucha a lo lejos, teacher. Can you hear me now? Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Ok, creo que Ana Yamilet tal vez está teniendo problemas con su micrófono. Vamos a elegir a alguien más. Herbert Bojorquez. ¿Quién? Herbert Bojorquez. Herbert. All right, Herbert, usted va a ser eh, Todd. Okay. Isaura is Jan. Okay. I'm ready. All right. I am it's Doug, great. Oh. <laughs> it's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Oh, I really do done that too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They are a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really, I really just want to take a easy. My feet are killing me. Excellent. Excellent. All right, guys. Uh, right now, we're going to take a little break from the platform. And we are going to take the attendance. So when I call your name, please stay present. When I call your name, please stay present. Uh, in the meantime, what I want you to do is work here. And you're going to work at the bottom here in the discussion, and you are going to write a similar conversation like this one, 
here. Maybe it can be somebody visiting Suchitoto or the beach or Sonsonate or the lake, you know, maybe picnic in the volcano or you decide whatever vacation tour you want to talk about. Are you ready? Let me have Albaluz. Present teacher. All right. Thank you, Albaluz. Present. Ana Yamilet. Ana Yamilet. Absent. Blanca Guadalupe. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Ernesto. Present teacher. Excellent. Cristina Claribel. Present teacher. Thank you. Edma Azalia. <laughs> Present teacher. All right. Thank you. Edwin Alexander. Present teacher. All right. Efraín Emilio. Efraín Emilio Acevedo. En el chat. En el chat. Present teacher, yeah. I'm here. Okay. All right. Thank you, Edma, for putting your microphone on silent. Uh, Fatima Marruquin. Fatima Marruquin. Praise the teacher. All right, Fatima Noemi. Fatima Noemi. Present teacher. Excellent. Present. Herber, Ever Eliseo. Boyorquez. Okay. Present teacher. Thank you. Isaura. Present teacher. All right. Josia. Present teacher. Excellent. Jonathan, absent. Jose Enrique Orellana. Present. All right. Oops. Jorge Alberto. Jorge Alberto. Jorge Alberto is absent. Okay. Then we have here Jose Enrique present. Jose Luis. Jose Luis. Jose Luis is absent. Hello, Jose Luis. Absent. Okay. Uh, Maria Elizabeth. Maria Elizabeth, absent. Nelson Adan. Nelson Adan. En el chat, en el chat también Maria Elizabeth. Oh, okay, Nelson Adan present, Maria Elizabeth present. Excellent, excellent. Uh, Maria Elizabeth present, Nelson Adan present, Norma Callejas. Present. Thank you. Norma Lizano. Present teacher. All right. Nubia Morales. Nubia Morales. Oscar Alexander. Present teacher. Okay. Sylvia Lisette. Present teacher. 
Susana Isabel. I'm here. All right. Yancy Melanie. Present teacher. Thank you. Yenny Carolina. Yenny Carolina. Present teacher. All right. <clears throat> Jocelyn Yvette. Jocelyn <clears throat> Yvette. All right. Okay, guys. Now, what we're going to do is finish the activity. You are going to write a similar conversation like this one at the bottom in the discussion forum. Any questions? No question. All right. You will have five minutes. Ready? Let's go. Work with your classmates. You can share your screen. Work in pairs, work in pairs, work in pairs, work in pairs. Hi, Fatima. Hi, Fatima. Hello. Hello. Hi. How are you? <laughs> Wake up. Good. <laughs> are, yes. are you sleeping? <laughs> no. <laughs> Okay. I see, yes. <laughs> no sleep. No sleeping, okay. okay That's good. That's and good. you are that close? Let's huh? go. <laughs> okay. Okay. Voy a incorporarles a Fatima Noemi. Tiene pareja. Hello, Fatima Noemi. Incorporese con Fatima Marroquín and Isaura, por favor. Fatima Noemi, escucha? Okay, sir. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Okay. Um, I think. Maybe it's great to see you. Pero, uh -huh. eh, it's good to see you, Norma. Y te digo ya, ese es tu nombre. Uh -huh. ¿Usted de dónde es? ¿Perdón? ¿De dónde es usted? De Apopa. Entonces, de San Miguel. Entonces, hagamos como que usted ha venido a San Miguel. It's okay. great to see you, Norma. Have you been at, have you been at San Miguel long? Just wow. a few days. A three days, digamos. I really like it to be here. No, here. Eh, just a few hours. Porque el traslado de... De San Salvador ah, a San Miguel son horas. Entonces ahí podemos cambiar. Three horas. Three horas. I am really excited to be here. Mm -hmm. ahí, decí, ahí sería hours en vez de days. Hours. Three hours, digamos. A few hours is, is okay. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to show to the city. Uh, it's so jolly. Uh -huh. Have you been at the jazz school? Um, aquí no hay club de jazz. Aquí hay chupaderas. <laughs> Have you been to, to uh, karaoke club? I can't wait to show, show you the city. Have you been 
have you been to a karaoke club yet? Mm. Karaoke mm. club yet? Uh, need to respond. Yeah. yeah, I I be ready. Been to one. Ready. Already oh, been to one. Okay. Oh well. How about Riverboat tour? <laughs> Riverboat tour? No, it's a. Uh, it's a. 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 tour. a. It's 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 Already done that too. Have you reading the street cards? Yes, reading. Reading. There are a lot of fun. There are a lot of fun. Okay. Actually, that's how I got you today. Well, is there is there anything you want to do? Daily, it must be what you know. I really just want to take it easy. My feet are too. I could ask you a little. Yeah. Bueno, ahí vamos a ir viendo. Montada dice, reader. Tengo hambre. Montado me tira ridden. Three car. Yo nací en Ciudad del Lado. Yo aquí en Apo. Estamos relativos. Mi papá son de Chalate, pero. Yo aquí en Apopa no sé. Ah, de veras, yo, mis papás son de Chalate también. Ajá. Uh -huh. mi, mi mamá es de Nueva Ay, Concepción. Por... Ay, mi mamá es de Santa Rita. Mi <risa> familia es uh -huh. de Nueva Concepción. Ay, uh -huh. qué bonito. Sí, ajá. Uh -huh. Chalate, todo es bonito. A mí me gusta el campo, sí. Ay, dicho Hello, hello. <laughs> hello. Right, guys, uh, I see that everybody is finished. Is everybody finished? Is everybody finished? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Who is no. finished? Who is finished? Let me have one pair that is finished. Jenny? Teacher, nosotros tenemos, tenemos una pregunta. Yes. ¿Cómo se dice, so ¿Cómo se dice sopa de gallina? Hen soup. Ah, pues sí. No andaba tan perdido. Ajá. Uh -huh. Hen soup. Ok, eh, alguien que ya terminó, que quisiera compartir su no, diálogo. No sé si mi compañera quiere, nosotros ya lo terminamos. Ah, ok, ¿quién es su compañera? Norma. Norma y Jenny tienen action. It's great to see you, Norma. How have you been in Calupo? Yes, I few days. I'm really happy to visit my family. I can't wait to show you the new restaurant and eat hen soup. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's next to the river. Good. That's it. Normal. That's it. That's it. 
Ok, yo creo que tiene problemas Norma con el audio. All right, ¿alguien más que quiera compartir su conversación? Somebody, another volunteer. Another volunteer. Nobody. Okay, that's okay. Let's continue. You can you can participate next time. For the following activity, we're gonna go ahead and move forward. And we're gonna be taking a look at the next section, which is in this session, we will study the present perfect with already and yet. Ask and answer questions using the present perfect with regular and irregular past participles. En esta clase estudian, estudiaremos sobre el presente perfecto. Aprenderemos a preguntar y responder usando el presente perfecto. Con el pasado, participio de verbos regulares e irregulares. Present perfect with already and yet. Listen, please. Ready and Can yet. everybody hear? Ask and answer questions in present perfect. Can everybody with hear? Irregular and regular past. Yes, yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. I want you to concentrate on this new tense. Notice how it is formed. Pay close attention to the words already and yet. Present perfect. Already, yet. The present perfect is formed with the verb have plus the past participle. Have you been to a jazz club? Yes, I've been to several. No, I haven't been to one. Has she ridden in a streetcar? Yes, she's ridden in one. No, she hasn't ridden in one. Has he called home lately? Yes, he's called twice this week. No, he hasn't called in months. Have they eaten dinner yet? Yes, they've already eaten. No, they haven't eaten yet. Contractions. I've equals I have. You've equals you have. He's equals he has. She's equals she has. It's equals it has. We've equals we have. They've equals they have. Haven't equals have not. Hasn't equals has not. For present perfect, we will use have or has plus past participle verb plus complement. The verb have or has will depend on the person we will talk about. We use present perfect when we want to express actions which began in the past and continue in the present. Example, she has worked in the bank for five years. We have had the same car for 10 years. When we want to make reference to an unfinished temporary period of time, I have worked hard this week. It has rained a lot this year. We haven't seen her today. Repeated actions in a specific period of time between the present and the past. They have seen that film six times. We have eaten all that restaurant many times. When timing is not relevant or it is unknown. Someone has eaten my soup. Now let's talk about already and yet. Already usually goes after have or has and before the main verb. Examples, we have already had our breakfast. When are you going to do your homework? But I've already done it. Yet means that something that we expected has happened or hasn't happened. We usually put it at the end of a sentence. Examples. Has the post arrived yet? Have you done your homework? Not yet. Haven't you got ready yet? Look at the time. All right, we're going to repeat it one more time. Hi, in this lesson, we will study present perfect with already and yet. Ask and answer questions in present perfect with irregular and regular past participles. I want you to concentrate on this new tense. Notice how it is formed. 
Pay close attention to the words already and yet. Present perfect. Already, yet. The present perfect is formed with the verb have plus the past participle. Have you been to a jazz club? Yes, I've been to several. No, I haven't been to one. Has she ridden in a streetcar? Yes, she's ridden in one. No, she hasn't ridden in one. Has he called home lately? Yes, he's called twice this week. No, he hasn't called in months. Have they eaten dinner yet? Yes, they've already eaten. No, they haven't eaten yet. Contractions I've equals I have. You've equals you have. He's equals he has. She's equals she has. It's equals it has. We've equals we have. They've equals they have. Haven't equals have not. Hasn't equals has not. For present perfect, we will use have or has plus past participle verb plus complement. The verb have or has will depend on the person we will talk about. We use present perfect when we want to express actions which began in the past and continue in the present. Example, she has worked in the bank for five years. We have had the same car for 10 years. When we want to make reference to an unfinished temporary period of time, I have worked hard this week. It has rained a lot this year. We haven't seen her today. Repeated actions in a specific period of time between the present and the past. They have seen that film six times. We have eaten all that restaurant many times. When timing is not relevant or it is unknown, someone has eaten my soup. Now let's talk about already and yet. Already usually goes after have or has and before the main verb. Examples, we have already had our breakfast. When are you going to do your homework? But I've already done it. Yet means that something that we expected has happened or hasn't happened. We usually put it at the end of a sentence. Examples, has the post arrived yet? Have you done your homework? Not yet. Haven't you got ready yet? Look at the time. All right, at this moment, does anybody have any questions perfect. related to this information? Questions? Okay, I have a question for you. In what situation are you going to use the present perfect? When do you use the present perfect? ¿Para qué es bueno el present perfect? ¿En qué situación se usa? En una acción que se realizó en el pasado, pero que aún continúa. Algo así entendí. Eh, sí. Eh, más o menos, el present perfect se utiliza como para romper el hielo. Eh, por ejemplo, digamos que estás en alguna digamos, en algún seminario del trabajo eh, y tú ves a una persona que se te hace interesante y tú quieres quebrar el hielo con esa persona y quieres empezar una conversación. Uh, digamos que es una fiesta. Tú le dices, ¿has venido a estas fiestas anteriormente o eh, has venido a, a estos eventos anteriormente, right? Have you been to these parties before? Have you been to this uh, seminar? So, en, en, es como para quebrar el hielo más que nada, el present perfect. Y allí tú empiezas a hacer preguntas en el simple pasado. Cuando viniste, es como la pasaste, te gustó, right? Y allí cambia la conversación a simple past. 
Pero para romper el hielo, usamos el present perfect. I gotta go, guys. Tomorrow we will continue with the topic. If you have any questions, please ask me in the WhatsApp. See you tomorrow, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye.